Hi, I'm Jilly from Baby Sleep Made Simple. The video you are about to watch is me answering a question sent in by a tired mom on our Facebook Live Q&A call. I hope you enjoy it. The first tip I have is the most obvious, and that is try to go into a quiet and a boring room to feed your baby. So if you're at your house, um, but let's say people are visiting, or you've got, you know, your baby has older siblings, what I would encourage you to do is <clears throat> turn off the TV, turn off the radio, <laughs> turn off any sort of like outside stimulation and noises, put the dog out, put the cat in another room. Um, you don't really have to like turn down the lighting or anything like that, but you want the room to be as boring as possible. Don't sit next to a mirror where your baby might, you know, start looking in the mirror and get super excited by her own reflection. Try to find a boring and a quiet space for you to feed your baby. Maybe that will be in the living room if it's just the two of you at home. But if not, then I recommend you go into a bedroom. If you are out, if you're at a friend's house or at grandma's house, you want to go into a bedroom. If you're out in public, try to find like a dark, not a dark, but like a quiet corner at a cafe. Try to find, I mean, you may end up even feeding your baby in the car if you're running around running errands and your baby's just way too distracted to feed in like a breastfeeding friendly space, then there's no harm in feeding your baby in the car where there is minimal stimulation. That's what you want to be aiming for. What a lot of moms have found success with, success with is I used to wear, for instance, this, you know, these big teething necklaces that they make for moms. So you don't have to get a teething necklace. You can get any form of jewelry, anything that's bright and that, that will get her attention enough to kind of keep her captivated while she feeds. You could wear that. You could be a beautiful scarf. You could even like play really, really like gentle games with her as long as it keeps her on the breast and keeps her engaged with only you. If you find that's too much for your baby, you may just need to kind of go with a really kind of like boring and calm face. Don't engage too much with your baby. Just really have her focus on only feeding. You could also try to nurse lying down instead. So you could go into the bedroom or maybe even on the sofa, but if kind of being in a traditional position where your baby's looking out at the world is too much, then you could try to lie down with her to where she's facing you and you're really minimizing any um, outside distractions or stimulation for her. You could also put her in a sling or a carrier, which is kind of the same thing. It kind of keeps her restricted, keeps her facing in toward you to where all she's seeing is really you and then she's really kind of honing in on the breast and that will hopefully keep her um, focus. Some moms have the nursing covers so they might just use like a nice mus muslin cotton blanket or they might have a you know a nursing cover. That works really well for some babies. For other babies they as they get older they just like hit it off. They don't want to be covered. Maybe they get too hot. Another tip I have for you is try to find moments in the day where your baby is more is a bit calmer and is more open to nursing. And a good time might be right when she wakes up. So right when she wakes up in the morning or right when she wakes up from a nap, go into her bedroom and before she leaves the bedroom, try to get a good nursing session out of her there when she's kind of, you know, re-entering the world and is usually a little bit calmer and a little bit slower. If when you're trying to feed your baby, she continues to pull off, I wouldn't give up um, after the first time she pulls off, I would encourage her to nurse several more times in each session to let her know, like, no, the nurse, like, the session's not done, let's try again. But if you find that it's just one of those days and it's really hard for her to focus, then I would say just to offer her a feed more often than you normally would. There may be times in the day where you would be surprised and think, oh, she'll never feed now, but maybe she does. Maybe she takes um, a much fuller feed. So just try to nurse her a bit more often in general if you're finding that it's just really hard to get her uh, to sit still long enough. Mm -hmm.